everybody, welcome. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm very new to YouTube, but today I wanted to take everybody um, through the journey of just my artistic process. I started with mixing a color for my underpainting. I usually like to do burnt sienna, but for this particular piece, I knew I wanted a greener tone. So I chose to do an ultramarine blue sap green and a burnt umber. So I decided to mix it until I was satisfied with the color and then I proceeded to move on to my canvas. You can see here that I'm starting to build the underpainting. Um, I'm marking all the points that I would deem important to the composition. So you see here the horizontal line and other various points in the painting. Um, marking where the girl's going to be sitting, where the trees come in, where the leaves begin, all those various points that are later going to make it really important for the final look of the painting. So there are different methods to beginning any painting, um, you know, using graphite or using charcoal. I think that's probably the best for oil painting. Um, or just painting straight onto the canvas, I decided to, um, you know, challenge myself a bit and decided to build right onto the canvas. Um, I did do a few preliminary sketches beforehand just to make sure that I, you know, practiced and was aware of where everything was laid out. Um, I did come into a little bit of trouble because I didn't plan it out with charcoal, but that's okay. It's all learning experience, that's what makes it fun. Here you see that I'm really just blocking everything in, really trying to understand the ratio of all the shapes compared to others. The girl, I'm just blocking in her outline, and then I'm gonna do a little wash of green in all the places, just to have that mid-tone gray. In retrospect, I should have done that before I started blocking everything in, but that's okay. I also wanted to just give a brief apology for the video quality. I realized halfway through my filming process that my iPhone was filmed the wrong way and, you know, just a learning experience. I started to add the color to the piece, adding the dark and light spots to really form the shapes a little further. Um, for this piece, I was really inspired. Um, I've really been looking into impressionists and all the artists at that time are just super inspiring and especially Renoir and just his dreamy landscapes there was one in particular that stood out and I'll insert a little photo but like it just it looks so beautiful and you just want to sit and read and it's just it almost looks like you know it, like you're in a magical land and you should be surrounded by little fairies and everything um and so it's just super inspiring um so i really wanted to showcase something like that in this piece um and so here i'm also adding color to the bark and really showing how the sun hits it with the yellow and the orange tones really adding texture to the bark of that tree. And then I move on to the foreground and the background and at this stage of the painting, I really was just trying to add the colors and the values to really fill in all those white spaces. Like I said previously, I really should have done, you know, a wash over the whole canvas. I don't know why I didn't. I mean, it's been a while since I picked up oil paints. Um, so that's probably why I forgot that step. And it's okay. Um, it's the beauty of oil paints, really. It's you can kind of improvise as you go because any mistake, it's just you can easily cover it up or fix. So I was just really trying to block in all that color, and that's really um, I think the most time-consuming. And it's also it's it's just kind of tedious to get all the different tones of greens and yellows and stuff but it really comes together and really pulls in that painting it really brings in the atmosphere of the whole entire piece
dreaded face. Um, not the best at faces or portraits, and that's really something that I'm trying to dedicate the time to um, improve on currently. So I began to work on it and then I stopped because I was getting a little frustrated. So, you know, switch gears a little bit and I started to work on the book, really filling in the tones, adding to her dress and really sculpting out that book. So starting back at the face, I went back to add more depth and trying to really sculpt it out further. And I find that that's really important because if you over darken it or if you add not enough highlights, it can really mess with how it's supposed to look. Um, I'm adding now tone to the lips. The lips are the hardest part for me personally, I guess, because a lot of the values are mid-tones and it's there's not a lot of contrast so it's very difficult to not over darken um especially for me i tend to always over darken the lips and it starts to look a little funky <laughs> this point of the painting I was starting to get super frustrated I think I was just staring at it way too long and it just appeared very stiff I felt like her face wasn't looking right everything was just looking a little off so I decided to take a little break and focus on another project I was working on I decided to work on sketches for a commission I was doing and I wanted to incorporate her kitty and um, so I was just practicing um, before really starting on the piece so that's what I decided to kind of switch gears and work on and I'll show a finished um, version of it here I just wanted to thank everybody for watching today's video and hope everybody has a great day